Canada, a polite authoritarian regime. I've, I've discovered over the last year and a half that it's not really my country that I hate, it's those who lead the country. And I discovered as well that the people I thought that I knew before COVID hit, I really didn't know at all. In fact, their true colors are appearing now and in ways that haven't been nice to watch. It's dawned on me that doctors whom I once thought should be advocating on my behalf are in fact right now nothing more than propaganda arms for the government and that the country is on its way down the slippery slope to tyranny with polite acceptance on the part of my fellow citizens. So what is the agenda that's at play? First of all, we have no real leadership. The politicians are all very cowardly. The ones who really have our interests at heart stand no chance of being able to take the torch and lead. But the anger of the population is boiling over and it's noticeable at certain events such as rallies that the current prime minister is conducting and surprise, surprise, he ain't getting the reception that he thought he'd get. He's getting actually quite the hostile reaction to this unnecessary election that he called as a narcissistic approach to winning himself a majority so that he can actually um, turn Canada into the socialist ideal one world global world that he's always carefully concealed from us but not so much anymore. So what are the options? Um, how do we deal with this? I know there are many many of us who are like-minded but somehow we're being controlled by this little group that are are taking the reins without opposition so we protest but do protests really do enough we rebel that gets us into trouble those of us who fight in the front lines or we flee i think that's that's becoming a more and more attractive option for me anyway and then there's an experiment that I would encourage you all to watch called, I believe it's called the Asher experiment, where they have a group in a room, all aware of what the experiment is, except for one guy. And it consists of looking at lines and identifying which line is the longest one that is shown. And the group is instructed to always identify the lines that are the shortest that don't fit the, the description of a long line. And the guy who's not in on this experiment, he begins to question his sanity as these lines get reproduced and presented. And he eventually goes along with the mob rule and follows the consensus, which is exactly what's happening to us now as a society. We need to make Canada great again. How do we do it? Let's start by getting rid of Trudeau then there might be some little flicker of hope if only we can assume that the likely successor who will be Aaron O'Toole will not merely be a liberal in conservative clothing. <laughs>